space, the great empty nothingness that amazes millions of people around the world. Since the beginning of this year, several NASA missions, including the Hubble Space Telescope, Juno spacecraft, Perseverance rover, and many others, have obtained thousands of both beautiful and terrifying images. In this video, you are going to see the most magnificent of them, which depict different celestial objects and even our own tiny world. Carry on watching this video, because it will be very interesting. The year 2021 started with the first lunar transit that occurred on January 13th. However, there is only one thing that you need to know about it. It wasn't visible from the surface of Earth. This sounds weird, but this eclipse was captured by a NASA spacecraft located 23,000 miles above our planet. It is called Solar Dynamic Observatory and it experiences such transits quite often between two and five times per year. This observatory watches our sun constantly, receiving thousands of images every month. For example, in this one, you are seeing a solar flare that blasted two weeks ago in the southern part of the sun and which resulted in aurora visible several days later. The next image was taken on June 10th, 2021, but this time from the surface of the United States. It shows the partially covered sun rising behind the Capitol building in Virginia. Keep in mind that this eclipse was fully visible only in Canada, Russia and Greenland, and that is why only part of our star is covered in this image. Ah, the Perseverance rover. I still remember how it magnificently landed on the surface of the Red Planet, and how during its quite short mission, it has managed to capture thousands of brilliant images, including this one. This area is located in Jezero Crater, and it is thought that it was once flooded with water so that it still contains clay. It is an ideal place for scientific experiments, since Perseverance's main mission is to search for signs of life, and we all know that, at least on Earth, life loves water. But Rover's mission wouldn't be so unique if there weren't another member of the crew. Look at this first space helicopter called Ingenuity, that traveled to Mars with the rover. In April 2021, it successfully completed its first flight, and since that moment, it has flown a distance of one and a half miles. Now let's have a look at another rover located in Crater Gale, thousands of miles from the Perseverance. Meet Curiosity. Curiosity is a Mars veteran that has been exploring the Red Planet since 2012. It has flooded the internet with beautiful images of the Martian surface dawns and mountains, one of which is 3 miles high by the way. On March 19, 2021, the 3063rd Martian day of the rover's mission, Curiosity captured these clouds just after sunset. Clouds are rare things in the thin atmosphere of Mars, and they're typically found at the planet's equator in the coldest time of year. But even more stunning are these iridescent or mother-of-pearl clouds. They are pretty rare, and as it's written on the GPL website, if you were sky gazing next to Curiosity, you could see the colors with the naked eye, although they'd be faint. Mars seems magnificent not only from the surface of the planet, but also from space, especially if you look at the Gigi crater. This formation contains different layers of rocks that eroded into each other and it kinda reminds me of a dried pool with stairs. Similar formations are found even in other craters on Mars, which indicates that this process was happening over large areas millions of years ago. This image, along with the next one, was captured by Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter that has been operational for the last 15 years. Good work, buddy! Another picture seems to be full of sandy dunes that occupy a crater on the northern plains of Mars. They have been formed thanks to the result of seasonal frost and wind. White things on their surfaces are, in fact, ice made out of carbon dioxide that forms during indeed cold Martian winters. Dunes on Mars are quite unique in comparison with dunes on Earth, since they can become way higher and even move differently. 
I am pretty sure that all of you are aware of this giant, this enormous planet located at a distance of 372 million miles from us. Currently, Jupiter has been observed by a single NASA probe called Juno. In January 2021, NASA told Juno to examine Jupiter's inner moons, Ganymede, Europa, and Io. Just look at this fresh image which shows grooved terrain, craters, and dark ridges. Underneath is believed to be lying an immense ocean that contains more water than Earth. Water is very important for us, since it can be the main source of extraterrestrial microbial life. If you want me to make a video about the exploration of Ganymede and other moons that might contain life, leave your comment below. Now behold the giant structures in Jupiter's atmosphere. Many features in it are short-lived, and even the great red spot is expected to disappear by the end of this century. However, in April 2021, Juno revealed that nearly one year after its discovery, the remnant of this small thing called Clyde Spot had developed into a complex structure that scientists gave a very complicated name that is too hard to pronounce. The most interesting part is that it was originally discovered by an amateur astronomer using a 14-inch telescope, so technically it means that even you can see it through your scope. Unfortunately, the next feature is too small for any amateur telescope, but it doesn't make it less beautiful. This image represents Jupiter's northern polar region, which in reality looks like a completely different planet. Just imagine that these cyclones in size can be compared to the United States, India, different continents, and even our planet. But do not even try to plunge into Jupiter's atmosphere, because a very, very unpleasant death is awaiting you there. On the other hand, Earth is full of life, and NASA has captured tons of different images of our planet. This is the part of the Indian Ocean near Western Australia that was visible from the International Space Station. And in case you are wondering how many other beautiful places astronauts can see, the space station circles the Earth in roughly 90 minutes, completing 15 and a half orbits per day. It means that crew is able to take pictures of thousands of areas. However, it is way better to go even higher, let's say to a satellite called Deep Space Climate Observatory, located almost 1 million miles from Earth. Namely, it took this spectacular image of the partial solar eclipse that occurred on June 10, 2021. It wasn't visible in many countries, and indeed, the blurry dark spot over the Arctic is a shadow cast by our moon. Actually, observing the Earth's surface is a crucial part of fighting climate change. It can indicate the scale of deforestation, carbon dioxide emissions, and even the decline of surface covered by ice. The year 2021 is notorious for an enormous amount of wildfires across the globe. Whether you live in the United States, or Turkey, or Spain, or Brazil, or Russia, or China, or Greece, or Nepal, it doesn't matter. Forests burn. However, we should admit that mankind is trying, yeah, maybe not hard enough, but still trying to stop these devastating processes. Alright, the time has finally come to finish our trip into the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope. This name pretty much says it all, so I'm going to just show its images captured this year. NGC 3254 seems like a typical spiral galaxy, but there is one unique feature – it is a Seyfert galaxy. Seyfert galaxies have very active cores, which are in reality supermassive black holes that release as much energy as the rest of the galaxy put together. However, they are not that rare. About 10% of all galaxies in the universe may be safer galaxies. But what do you think about colliding galaxies? Sounds spooky, but even our galaxy is going to collide with the Andromeda galaxy in the very far future. This picture amazingly shows what such a collision will look like in several billion years. This system, known as R195, consists of three galaxies, 
and just imagine that in some parts of them are habitable planets. What kind of you will you see in their night skies? Well, it must be indeed a remarkable view, unless there is light pollution as well. The next image shows the spiral galaxy NGC 5037 that lies about 150 million light years from us. Just to remind you, we see this galaxy what it looked like 150 million years ago and that's what Earth looked like at the same period of time. It seems impossible, but here New York is closer to Africa than to Texas. And here's the final question for you. What do you see in this image? A small galaxy inside the giant round galaxy? A weird nebula? An alien space gun aimed at our planet? No. These are two separate galaxies, but one of them is located behind the other. And what about these five dots? Are these alien spaceships that are going to invade Earth in 2022? Well, no. The four bright points around the galaxy pair and the fainter one in the very center are in fact five separate images of a single quasar, which is an extremely luminous but distant object. We see it this way due to a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. Basically, when a massive and bright object is located behind another massive and bright object, the gravitational forces of the first object distort the light of the second object. As a result, it makes the galaxy look like a ring and produces fake copies of the quasar. Fascinating. I hope that this video was quite useful for you. Link to all of these images with the detailed information about them you can find in the description. The year 2021 is not over yet, and since we are only at the very beginning of space exploration, even more pictures are going to be released in the coming years. Do not forget to occasionally leave your adored city to delight in all beauties of the universe. And as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos. Bye.